Hi, everyone, and welcome to Vive Bytes. I'm Yu Kai Chow from HTC, and today we're going to talk about what is the difference between all in one or standalone VR versus what they call PC VR. So, there's really at the moment two types of dominant VR way implementations, types of technology platforms. There's the all in one and standalone. And basically, what that means is you have a VR headset and it functions on its own. It usually connects to the internet, you put it on, and then it could, you can start to play games, you can start to do all these different things. Um, now, that sounds great, right? Because there's convenience to it. Uh, the problem is that the processing power is really inside that all in one standalone VR headset, right? So, first of all, if you wear it on your head, it, it can't be huge, right? It's limited. There's a battery life limitation. And so oftentimes the resolution may not be as strong. And this is where the PC VR comes in. The PC VR is basically virtual reality that connects to your PC. And so what does it relies on the powerful graphical abilities of your PC. And of course it's plugged in, so there's no battery concern to enhance this VR experience. And so for those who really want the highest end type of VR experience, they really want to make belief, right? They want to believe they're actually in that environment. Then resolution is super, super important. And so a lot of them go for PC VR because when there's a PC processing power, it's oftentimes, you know, seven to eight times more powerful than an all-in-one or standalone. All-in-one, again, does not have that high resolution, but it's convenient. I can take it to the living room and use it. I can take a lot of it. I don't have to be in front of a PC. It's a bit more portable, um, even though it's still hard to bring a whole um, all-in-one headset and the two controllers to different places. Um, but it's a bit more portable. It's a bit easier to do. And so there's that advantage of all-in-one headset. Now, some all-in-one headsets, such as the Vive Fo Focus 3, actually allow for something called business streaming or also remote rendering, which is, allows the processing power of the PC to actually go straight to the all-in-one and we still enjoy very high quality VR content from PC VR. Uh, Vive also offers some accessories like the wireless extender that can also make the you know, Cosmos series and the Vive Pro series do the same thing, basically create this wireless experience with, with PC VR. So I believe HTC Vive is definitely at the forefront of that remote rendering or wireless PC VR experience. All right, that's all for today's Vive Bites. I will see you guys later.